In this video, we'll share how to make a YouTube end screen template quickly and easily. You can create a fancy animated YouTube end card like one of these in a matter of minutes. Then we'll cover exactly how to add an end screen on YouTube videos so your professional new YouTube outro will be ready to go. Now, just before we jump in and create our end screen template, I'm just gonna show you what it is we'll be creating and also give you an understanding on how these end screens actually work and what the limitations are. So I've got a sample video here that I've already uploaded and we wanna come down to end screen here. So this is where you can set up all of your end screens once they're created and this is what we're gonna be building out in this tutorial. Now, it's important to note that your end screens are restricted to a maximum of 20 seconds and that 20 seconds has to be at the end of your video. This can't appear anywhere in your video except for the last 20 seconds but you don't need to have them on for the entire 20 seconds. Now, the clickable and the interactive elements that you can add onto your end screen, you just add them up the top here, element. And now you can choose a video, a playlist, subscribe, channel, or even link to a website or something like that. For my particular video, I believe I wanna add in, you know, two other videos, one video, one playlist, um, and then my subscribe button. And now you can move these elements around anywhere you like on the screen. The only limitations here are is that you have to stay within this box here. You can make these larger, but you can't go any smaller than this size now. You can see that I'm trying to make it smaller, but I cannot. So the other thing to look out for is if you do make them larger, they can overlap and you can see anything that comes up red like this, it means that you cannot overlap because you're too close together on the other videos. Um, so please adjust the element spacing. So I'm just gonna move mine around um, I quite like my videos appearing there, but as you can see, my subscribe button isn't in the right spot. So if I've got mine there and then my subscribe button there, I think that's all looking really neat and tidy. It is important to know the different sizes and the positioning that you've got access to when you're creating your end screen or end card to make sure that you're building it or getting the template to match what you're after. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a really professional looking end screen template for your YouTube video. Now the service we recommend for this is Place It. It's gonna save you heaps of time, heaps of headaches, and it's gonna create something really awesome for you. So let me show you how that's done. So you head over to the Place It website, and as you can see here, they've got a whole range of templates for all different kind of things. You can do logos, you can do designs of all sorts, you can do t-shirts and lower third banners and mock-ups. So simply go to the search engine section and then type in YouTube end screen and click on that and it will give you a whole host of different templates you can choose. So lots of awesome different options. So I like the look of this one, it looks nice and clean and you can see when you click on it, it just gives you all the different options to customize it. So I'm actually gonna put in my actual YouTube handle in here so people can see that loud and clear. And the other thing I'm going to customize is the background. Add in a video of me working behind the scenes. Try and find a good one of me behind the scenes here. We're gonna load that in and it will just take a little while to upload as you can see there. And once it's uploaded, it will take you to this screen here and you can you know, make it smaller or larger and crop to fit. I'm happy with it as is. So just hit crop and trim and voila. Let's put it in. You can see there's an option to change the playback speed here. I can make it slightly longer if I do it half the speed or faster, but I'm gonna let that play out at real time. Uh, there was a music track that they've put on behind it. I'm gonna take that off. I, don't, I wanna have more editing capabilities in my own editing program, which I'll be showing you soon. So I've turned that off, but otherwise I'm really happy with that. So what you do then is download. Now, as you can see here, there is a download button and it's telling me you need to play all your slides before downloading. Okay, let's do that. Cool, very trippy. Okay, I'm going to download, that looks great. Now when we go to download, we've got a few options here. Right down the bottom, there's a link to download the free video we've made, but it has a watermark on it and it's also gonna be a little bit low quality. So the button in that section though, lets us purchase just this video as a one-time purchase in high quality without watermarks for $9.95. Or we also have the option for $9.99 to jump on their unlimited subscription where we can access all of their templates, their mockups, designs, and logos for that price. Once you've picked your option, you can then download the video. Cool, it's processed it. Now you'll see the option here to click here to download. Let's click that. 
and it will download to your computer. Okay, so now that our end screen has been downloaded, we're going to go over to my editing software, which is Premiere Pro. That's what I like to edit in. And here's my video. And this is where I'm going to put my end screen on to. So I'm going to import my end screen in sitting there import there it is i'm going to put it over the top of my vision as you can see it goes for 10 seconds and it's landed in there nicely so let's just have a listen to what i am talking about there and let's try and make this bunch of behind the scenes video and photography tips and tricks so that'd be really cool as well and as always a bunch of resources in the description box below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one cool Another thing to consider is instead of just having your end screen just appear on like so, you can put in a transition. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's put a whip in. I'll put a whip transition in there. Let's whip it good. Awesome. So I put a transition in. I'm liking the look of that. I'm going to export this video out now and I'll show you how we put our end screen on. Okay, so now we're over at my YouTube channel and we're going to upload the video that we just made. YouTube now let you add and configure up your end screen elements right from this upload process now. So you can either do it after the video is done, like how I showed you at the start of this video, or right here during the upload too. So we're going to hit add to set ours up. We can see our video there and we can see the moment our wonderful end screen comes on bang there it is as you can see we've got all these different options to add different elements and end screens to our video so what i'm feeling here is something like this where we get the opportunity to add two videos that people can watch plus a subscribe circle with my face on it so let's see that the only thing is they're on the wrong side so can move these elements around now you will note that there's this box here and you can't go outside of that zone but what you can do is move them around anywhere you like within that area now they've come on a little bit too early for mine because it's over that section there i could have it there but i don't want to take away from what i'm talking about there i'm going to add it on as soon as it transitions to my end screen place it template that i've got there so what we do then is just trim them and then let's just play that back Oh, that is awesome. Now, as you can see, my section here is not looking the best. We could make that look a little bit better and put it somewhere like that. I like that, that's looking great. Now you can see here this video that we're going to suggest putting on the end screen. You can select either your most recent upload best for viewer or I can choose a specific video which you know if I'm talking about YouTube subscribers or if I'm talking about editing faster I can choose that specific video there but in this instance I'm going to go for my most recent upload keeping it fresh this one over here can be a playlist and now I've got a primal video playlist all the videos that I contribute to primal I've got a playlist for on my channel so I'm going to actually add that one in because that would be right up your alley or anyone who is watching this video. That is all looking good. I'm gonna hit save and that's all looking fantastic. It's got a big green tick. We like seeing those. We're gonna hit next. They're gonna check the video for any issues. Another green tick, we love those. Let's hit next again. I'm gonna leave this one as unlisted. Hit save and my video is published. I wanna have a look. That is looking awesome. I'm so happy with that. Very cool. If you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel to 1,000 subscribers fast, check out the video linked on screen. There's also a link to my channel. I would love to see you over there. You've got a bunch of behind the scenes video and photography tips and tricks, so that'd be really cool as well. And as always, a bunch of resources in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.